Michael Martin shot and killed on the streets of Harlem. He was a larger-than-life figure who seemed to defy death. Fox News' Lisa Evers goes over who he was and why he might have had a long list of enemies. He was one of the city's most notorious drug dealers, famous since the 1980s for his murderous ways and mountains of cash and drugs, immortalized in dozens of rap songs and the movie Paid in Full. But it all came to an end for Alpo Martinez right here on the streets of Harlem, right where it all began. These are exclusive photos of Alberto Alpo Martinez on previous visits to Harlem in recent years. But his latest visit turned out to be his last. On Sunday, about 3.20 a.m., police were called to Frederick Douglass Boulevard near West 147th Street. A dark red pickup truck crashed into parked cars. The driver was shot five times in the chest through the car window and killed. I heard five shots, one and then four, four consecutive shots after that. It was Elpo, but his driver's license and other IDs had his witness protection name of Abraham Rodriguez with a Lewiston, Maine address. The murder scene stretched for blocks up to 151st Street. Elpo had been given a new identity when he was released from a Colorado Supermax prison in 2015 after serving more than 20 years for 14 murders. But instead of lying low, he couldn't seem to stay away from New York. He's been seen riding around Harlem most of the time. You know, he's always he's been seen uh, down in Harlem a lot. In addition to the murder convictions, Elpo was widely believed to have turned on many of his former associates in order to shave years off what could have been a life sentence. There is no shortage of people who may have wanted payback. Other than him being who he is, this seems to be a thing with guns going on that everyone's, you know, it's, it's getting out of hand with the guns. Everyone seems to have a gun right now. Sources tell me that Elpo may have been shot while sitting in his car further down the block and then tried to drive away to escape. Investigators will be looking at forensic evidence as well as surveillance video to get a clearer picture of what really happened. In Harlem, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhredash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. And shalom to you few sisters out there. This is Brother Ariel coming at you with a quick cut. And as you see, Alpo Martinez just got put to death last night, man. You know, it was a drive-by shooting. He was, I guess he was sitting in his truck and, you know, they, they got him, you know. And, um, man, that, that's that been talked about the streets of New York for the longest, you know, how he was a, a quote-unquote, a rat, and, you know, he was going to meet his end, you know, someone was going to take him out, you know, and it happened, man. The Most High punched his clock, and he's in the spirit world right now, man, you know, and that was a, that was a swift judgment for him. You know, he was a wicked dude, man. He's very wicked. I don't know if you, if, uh, I'm pretty sure most of you have seen it, but there could be people that didn't see the movie called Paid in Full. Uh, a rapper named Cameron played him in that movie, played, uh, Alpo Martinez in that movie. And it gave you a good indication of, you know, the type of dude this guy was, man. Okay, and the dude was straight up wicked, as you see, as you heard, she said he was locked up for 14 murders, probably more than that, you know, selling drugs, you know, he was all, he's into all types of uh, wickedness, man, a wicked dude, and, you know, he met his end, man, the most high punch his clock, and he's, he's in the spirit world now, man, so I just wanted to go into uh, some scriptures, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Okay, I'm gonna start off at uh let me see. Second Timothy three. And I'm gonna read one through four. Oh, that's how you gonna do me? Come on man, stop playing. See? Salakia so for that, you know, this thing be acting up. Let me boot it back up. Here we go. Okay. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, 
you know, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of the most high, man, okay? And most of them words, man, describe this dude right here, man. He was definitely cov covetous. You know, he wanted he wanted what others had. That's why he, you know, that's why he, uh, I forgot who it was that he uh, murdered. I think it was Rich Porter. I think, or some, one of them dudes, man. Whoever he killed in the, uh, in the movie, man. I, don't, I, don't, I forgot, bro. You know, I'm not in the world no more, so I, I forgot who it was that he took out. But it was because he wanted what that brother had, what that dude had, man, rather, not not brother. He wanted what that dude had, you know what I'm saying? So he was definitely covetous. He was a boaster, okay? Definitely boaster, flashy, you know what I'm saying? Always wanted to, you seen him, he had the Gucci, uh, <laughs> he had the Gucci uh, bicycle helmet, you know what I'm saying? Well, not the bicycle, the, uh, the motorbike helmet, you know what I'm saying? The Gucci motorbike helmet. He was definitely a boaster. He was proud. You know, when it was a proud act, why are you going to be riding around in Harlem and you put so many people in jail, man? He probably lied on people just to knock, to shave some years off of his sentence, man. You know, he probably lied on people. You got them locked up, you know. You know, a false, you know, false accuser, man. You know what I'm saying? He was just an unholy dude, man. He's very, 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 uh, very wicked, man. A lover of pleasures, you know, high minded, man. He thought he was that dude, man. He thought he was that dude. He's a real proud individual, man. You know, the most high got his ass, though. All right, I'm going to go into a couple of scriptures, and that's going to be the lesson. It's going to be a quick one. Uh, it's Proverbs 18 21. Okay. And it reads, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, man. Okay? And because of the words that came out of this man's mouth, ultimately um, caused him to be put to death, man. You know, as far as him, you know, what people say in, in the street, man, snitching, he was snitching, you know. But at the end of the day, there is no honor amongst wicked men. I don't, I don't never got what people don't understand about that, man. There is no honor amongst wicked men. I don't understand how people expect wicked men to be honorable, man, and to do honorable things. It makes no sense. It's real backwards, man. I don't get it. Okay? But like I said, ultimately, uh, that man's choice, I mean, uh, the, 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 the choice that the man made to, uh, uh, you know, quote unquote rat on other people, man, just to shave um time off of his sentence, man, is ultimately what got him put to death, man. You know, cause when he first got out, there's a lot of people that was saying, oh yeah, they're gonna kill him. They're gonna kill him. When he get out, they're gonna kill him. You know? I guess it just got the people like, yo, man, we can't have this dude, you know, going around the streets acting like shit is sweet and they took him out. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, shit. If you if you want a witness protection program, man, they done change your name and all that. You know, he was on Henry Hill status, man. This movie, uh, Goodfellas. If you haven't seen that, watch that. You know who Henry Hill is. Oh, uh, <laughs> he was on some Henry Hill. You know, why would you go back to to the same uh, place that uh, you know, where you were from, man? Where you're known to be. Uh, you know, a quote unquote rat. Why would you be hanging out around there? I don't know, but I'm, you know, at the end of the day, the most high put the spirit on him to, to do that, man. So he could ultimately be put to death, man. Of course, everything is orchestrated by the heavenly father, man. I'm gonna go to Galatians. Six and seven. Okay. Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. 
Okay? So he sold he, he sold it and he reaped it, man. Okay? You snitch, that's you know, that's what they say on the streets, man. Snitches get stitches, man. Or snitches get thrown in ditches. And that's basically what happened. You know what I'm saying? So this scripture uh screams that all day. Okay? So hey man, he got he got what he got. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm happy that he died. I'm not happy. Uh, anyone's death, man, but when it's it's all ordained by the most high and it's all through righteousness, man. You know? So he got put to death. It is what it is, man. You know? I'm gonna go to Job four and eight. And and and, and uh, you know, he, he who killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. Okay? He was out here, you know, putting in work, man. As as they say. He was out here putting in work. You know? They said he, he got locked up for 14 murders for killing people, man. He who killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. So his death was, was <laughs> it was a righteous act, man. You know, not not from the person that did it, but for the person or for the for the power, rather, that ordained that killing, which was the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? So he who killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. You know? Just like they say in the street, man, if you live by the gun, you die by the gun, man. There you have it. All right, I'm going to go to Job. Job 4 and 8. Even as I have seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same, man. Okay? By the blast of the Most High they perish. Uh, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed, okay? And that's just evident. I don't even have to explain that. That's evident. You see what happened? Five bullet holes right through the right through the uh, driver's side window, right in his chest, man. Okay, he got taken out, man. Quick. They saying that he tried to drive away, but you know I was it, man. Most high took his spirit, man. That was it for him, man. He was done, you know, it was just, I just feel like it was, you know, the most high, you know, had it happen that way. But I just like, you know, that just shows you, man, the most high is controlling all our steps, man. Because what person in their right mind would be, you know, chilling in the, in the, in the, uh, <laughs> in the city where, you know, you're known for, for uh, putting a lot of people in jail. And, you know, just imagine how many families he he, he hurt by doing that, you know what I'm saying? Putting, you know, locking up fathers, killing fathers, mothers, you know what I'm saying? Like he, you got to know that there's someone waiting for you, man. Someone's waiting to take you out, man. So that just shows you, man. Man's goings are the Lord. You know, the Most High had that whole thing orchestrated where his proud ass can go back to where he was uh, infamous at, and they took his ass out, man. Okay, I'm going to go to Mark. Book of Mark, chapter 7, uh, 21. Okay. From uh, 21 through 23. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye. Blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Okay? And a lot of these things, a lot of these demons right here that I just named, okay, were in that brother, man. Well, in that dude, man. I ain't even gonna call him a brother. They was they was in Alpo, man. Okay? Definitely had an evil eye. He was he was wicked. He was covetous. You know, he was a thief. He was deceitful, man. He was foolish, okay? For 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 being around and hanging around in Harlem. Foolish. Okay? He was a murderer. Okay? I'm pretty sure he done popped many men's wives, man. He was an adulterer. Okay? He was a wicked dude, man. You know, and, and most high put his ass to death, man. Rightfully so. 
And if you don't know who this guy is, like I said, go watch the movie Paid in Full, and you'll get a good indication of who and how he was, man. You know? All right, so I'm going to go to uh, the Book of Sirach. I'm going to go to 31 and 24. And it reads, but against him that is a niggard of his meat, the whole city shall murmur. And the testimonies of his niggardness shall not be doubted of, man. Okay? That dude was just, he, he, he was a niggard, man. Straight up, man. But against him that is a niggard of his meat, the whole city shall murmur, man. Okay? The whole city was murmuring when it came to this dude, man. Saying this, saying that. You know, how's this dude, how's he walking around the streets? Nothing's happening to him. I've heard that on the radio. Just on regular radio stations. I've heard them say that. Uh, um, I've heard it on Hot 97. You know, I don't really listen to the radio like that, but I've heard it, man. Okay? I've heard that, man. People that are on uh, YouTube, various people on YouTube have, have said the same thing, man. Okay? But against him that is a niggard of his meat, the whole city shall murmur, and the testimonies of his niggardness shall, be, shall not be doubted of, man. Okay? And that dude was a niggard, man. A straight up niggard. Okay? Just greedy, man. Greedy, greedy dude, man. Alright? I'm gonna, uh, it's my last, last, uh, chapter I wanna go into. This is Sirach 14, and I'm gonna read 1 through 10. Blessed is the man that have not slipped with his mouth. And is not pricked with the multitude of sins. Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemn, condemned him. And who is not fallen from his hope in the Lord. Riches are not comely for a niggard. And what should an envious man do with money? He that gathereth by defrauding his own soul gathereth for others. That shall spend his goods riotously. Okay, that dude was buying all types of Gucci baby diapers and everything, man. Ridiculous. <laughs> Gucci baby diapers. Um, verse five, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. Okay? It's talking about Esau, but it's talking about you evil ass uh, two-thirds as well, man. The envious man hath a wicked eye. He turneth away his face and despiseth men. A covetous man's eyes is not satisfied with his portion, and the iniquity of the wicked drieth up his soul. A wicked eye envieth his bread, and he is a niggard at his table, man. Okay? And I pray that the Most High take more and more dudes out that got the same spirit as this guy, man. You know, call her lawyer how about Shem shot, man. Take them all out, man. They all deserve to be taken out of here, man. And eventually they will, man. All these wicked dudes out here, man. There's more, more, a whole lot more wicked than righteous, man. And all the wicked, they need to be taken out, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, this lesson was uh was edifying, man. Okay? And until the next one, I want to say shalom.